Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton's. Here we've got a Seat Leon FR Hybrid. This is a 1.4 uh, engine with a 12.8 kilowatt hour battery and a DSG gearbox finished in asphalt blue metallic paint. All the wheels and tyres are in good condition. These are 17 inch dynamic alloys. At the back, you get a decent boot and this full width light bar. So you're charging cables in the back as well. Uh, the back seats will fold down if you need any extra space and you've got through loading in the centre seat uh, if you need to use that as well. This car does have MOT until January 2025 and it's got a very good service history from Seat. It's not serviced in December of 2023. So inside we've got the FR Sport seats, uh, so you've got cloth seats, a uh, bit of leather on them uh, on the sides and red stitching, uh, nice and comfortable, uh, you do also have ice fix anchor points on the front seat as well and you've got the same in the back. Up front we have Seat's digital drivers display, the virtual cockpit, so you've got various different screens and views and uh, personalisation you can have um, through all the different systems, different information you want on there. Uh, that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, there's there's loads to play around with in terms of choosing what you want on the screens, either side, um, and that sort of thing on there. Uh, on the main screen, um, we've got say it's new system, so you've got loads of different little widget icons. Um, so you have built-in navigation, um, and which is nice and easy to use. You've also got um, full link for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can have your own phone screen on the screen in the car. Um, and then you can use Google Maps, Apple Maps, uh, whatever your preferred sort of mapping system is on that. But if you are using the built-in nav system, it is nice and good, nice and up-to-date and easy to read and use as well. Uh, then we've got DAB radio and Bluetooth connectivity for phone and music as well. Um, this is the sort of, you've got two different screens, you've got this one here and then you've got the sort of main menu screen as well. Um, so you've got all the sort of shortcuts here including driver profiles um, for the like individual, eco, normal and sport modes. So you can change information on there as well to different tiles. Uh, you've got your Bluetooth info, your aircon info and your battery with it being uh, plug-in hybrid. You've got hybrid mode and electric mode as well. Um, and the shortcuts to the nav and things on there. You've also got loads of different vehicle information, uh, including your parking sensors. Um, so you've got 360 sensors, um, as well as park assist as well. You've also got um, your smart assistants. Um, also, there's, there's so much on here, like lane assist, front assist, um, all your driver profile settings, so you can change those on here as well. Um, your battery um, information, background lighting, all the settings for all the information and stuff. So there's loads to play around with, um, loads to get used to. Um, but yeah, so once you figure out where everything is, it's a nice easy system to use. Uh, moving down, we have a wireless charge pad here with two USB-C inputs. Um, you've also got climate um, temperature control on here and volume control in the middle. So you've got your driver climate and your passenger climate and then you can control it through the screen on there as well. Uh, you have a push button start, a little storage area for your key, another little storage area here. Your gear selection just on here as well. Uh, so you've got standard drive and the sporty setup. Then you've also got reverse uh, which will bring up the sensors um, automatically. And then you've got electronic parking brake and hill hold assist. A couple of cup holders just in the middle there and some more storage with a 12 volt socket in the centre console. Uh, the door bins are a decent size um, and you do also have a good size glove box as well. Up front we have um, FR Sport steering wheel, it's nicely laid out, you've got a slight flat bottom on it, uh, nice quality. On the left hand side you've got the controls for the volume and you've also got all your assist controls so you can quickly um, navigate through those. You've got lane assist, cruise control and your speed limiter so you can turn those on and off as you wish. And then on the right hand side you've got all the controls for the drivers display including the view button to switch through all the screens. And then your scroller and your hands free and your track skip on there as well. You'd also have paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel. Uh, you've got your indicator stalk on the left. Rain sensing wipers on the right, all your lights are just down here, you've got automatic lights 
and then you've also got heated and electrically adjustable wing mirrors with electric fold as well. Just moving to the back of the car, this is the five door lay on, um, so accessibility is a lot better than it would be in the three door. You get slightly more space as well, or it feels like you do. Um, you've got ice fix anchor points on the outer seats, fold down central armrest with a couple of cup holders, and then the aforementioned through loading plus climate in the rear and another two USB-C's as well as storage pockets behind the front seats and you've got rear door bins as well. You do also have these little puddle floodlights which were just turned off which do say Ola as well. It's a cute little feature. Um, it's a really nice car to drive, really nice and easy and there's loads of spec on it as well so um, everything you want really is on the car. Um, the hybrid system is very very good as well, it works well, especially if you're pottering around town you're not really going to use any fuel at all if you've got enough charge in the battery, so you're saving money on the fuel as well. Um, it will come with 6 months gold cover warranty, which can be extended for as little as £299 for an extra 6 months. We also have a range of finance options available, so if finance is something that you're looking for then we can help you out with that as well. If you need any more information on this car or any of the other cars we have in stock, please go to draytons.co.uk. Thank you.